there is one annoying thing that you have to deal when working with AI, which is prompting. But this tool called Prompt Optimize AI will help you generate a better and much more elaborate prompting based on a simple instruction that you have provided. So based on the demo, you can see that uh, this person is using a simple prompt on ChatGPT and then Prompt Optimize will try to make your prompt much more detailed, much more elaborate, and hopefully will give you much better answer. So I've been using this tool for quite a while and I could tell that this could be useful for some people, especially for non-techies that are not quite familiar when working with AI. And the best part is that this tool is free and it is available in a lot of AI platforms such as OpenAI, Perplexity, DeepSeek, Copilot, Gemini, cloud grog and possibly many others i haven't tried all of them but it works on most popular ai platforms out there so there's going to be a button right here on the text field when you're working on an ai or llm and when you click on the button it will analyze your current prompting and then it will make your prompt a bit better so this tool is working on your browser and uh, it will work on a Chromium based browser. As far as I know, it doesn't work on a desktop application. Like if you are using the ChatGPT desktop, I don't think this is going to work. This is exclusive for web application only. So the question is, is it any better? Is it good to use this kind of tool? Well, I would say yes. I'm not actually 100% sure that it's going to be good every single time, but I can tell that this tool is going to help a lot of people. So let me give you some examples here. And this is a simple prompt that I sent to Perplexity. I just want to know the latest news about GPT-40 image generation capability. It is a new feature. And I just want to know about this new feature from OpenAI. And this is the answer that was provided by Perplexity. I think it's quite good. It's telling me a lot of things about this new model. But when I'm using the prompt that was provided by prompt optimize this is the prompt it is definitely a lot longer and also the question sorry the answer is way way more detailed i'm not saying that it is better but at least it is way more detailed so if you want to get something that is more specific i think this tool is quite useful and also the number of resources that is used by perplexity is higher it's reading 52 pages compared to only 13 pages that it read when I'm using this simple prompt. So maybe there is something to it. But as I said, it's not going to be better every single time. For example, here I tried using ChatGPT to generate a picture of a woman with her cat. And this is the picture that it generated based on my simple prompt. I think it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. And I could definitely use it as an illustration of, or a as a photo that I could put into my website. Overall, I like the result. And this is the output that was generated using Prom Optimize. The Prom is way, way longer. And there is also uh, the picture is OK. I mean, it's not bad. But if you were to ask me, I would say this picture is just much better in a way that it is specific. But uh, based on the request that I want, I just want to have a picture of a woman with her cat as simple as that but given that we have much detailed prompt uh, you can see that the environment is much more defined and also the activity is well established based on the prompt so there is some action here which in in some cases may be exactly what you want but in other cases it is not exactly what you needed so I, I would say this is a bit more objective but let's go to another example and this is Gemini 2.0 Flash. I'm asking Gemini to generate a website using this simple prompt. Uh, in fact, this is probably not a prompt at all. This is just an instruction. And this is the website that it generated. I would say it's pretty good. It looks modern. There are some animation, even though I didn't ask anything about animation, but it was able to generate this template. This is a personal website. I think I could definitely use it as a portfolio. It's pretty good overall. But let's see the result when using the prompt from, from, from Optimize. So this is the prompt, a lot longer. And yeah, this is the website. Is it good? Yeah, it's definitely good, but I don't want to say that it is better than 
this design i would say this design looks more modern more professional compared to this and i think part of the reason is when you are using a prom optimizer like this sometimes the instruction is very specific which means it leaves almost no room for ai to be more creative so that's probably one thing that you need to balance when using this tool but anyway let me show you how you can use from optimize uh, on your browser so first you have to navigate to this website i'm going to leave the link in the video description and you have to sign up to uh, this website using either google account or email and it is free there is a premium feature but I would say for a lot of people the free version is more than enough you will be able to get 10 credits a day which i think is quite generous so the way you use it is quite simple you have to navigate to your favorite uh, tool let's say i'm gonna go with perplexity and here there's going to be a button uh, this is the button from prop optimize and i forgot to mention that you have to install the extension that was provided by the tool it's called prom automize it's available in the chrome web store there's going to be an instruction on how you can install it it's, again it's quite simple and then here let's say i want to uh i want to send some okay i have this prompt that i often use to throw ai off and so far there is no AI model able to answer this question correctly okay this is the request 5 equals 10 6 equals 12 7 equals 14 8 equals 16 9 equals 18 and then what 10 equals 2 so the answer should be 5 because again 5 equals 10 so 10 must be equal to 5 it is it should not be 20 so this pattern is usually going to throw off ai because you know it thought that i was looking for a pattern but i wasn't but let's see if when i'm using an optimized prompt can ai able to answer this question properly let's click on this button and then just wait until it is recreating the prompt and there you go so it's quite simple and let me send the message and then just wait honestly i haven't tried using this prompt so we, we have to see whether or not uh, ai is able to answer the question correctly based on a new and supposedly better prompting all right still taking quite some time and wow it's doing the programming and not all AI tools will do this but perplexity had that privilege all right so the corresponding result for the number 10 is 20. again that's not the correct answer and that's why as i said it's not always guarantee a better result because at the end of the day it really depends on the ai model itself sometimes you might want to use a simple prompt because ai has it leaves room for ai to be more flexible and creative on their approach but on the other hand sometimes you might also want to be specific at your prompting so i think it's very subjective and you have to try it yourself and let me try one more time i'm gonna go using let's say chat gpt and i want to know about the latest ai news from gemini so gemini from google just released a new model called gemini 2.5 and i want to know the latest info about it so i'm going to send a prompt that look like this tell me everything i need to know about gemini 2.5 all right let me click on this button and then just wait Alright, so this is a much longer prompt. And by the way, I forgot to mention a few other things that you could utilize. So if you hover above this button, there is going to be this bookmark. So you can save the prompt to be reused again. And there is also the translation option. But at the moment, it is still coming soon. Not yet available. But I think the basic feature is quite easy to understand. Alright, let me send the prompt and just wait until ChatGPT is giving me the answer based on my uh, previous prompt. Okay, so that's basically how prompt optimize work. Again, as I said, it doesn't always give you the best result because at the end of the day, it really depends on the AI model that you're using. For example, if you're using a reasoning model like Cloud 3.7 Sonnet Reasoning or maybe DeepSeek R1 or some other reasoning model that usually means you can use a basic prompt because 
after all ai will redefine your instruction anyway so the need for prom optimize is not strictly necessary but again it could be still useful for uh, some people that just don't want to write a very long and elaborate prompt so anyway uh, that's basically it if you want to know more about ai tools that you can use right away you can subscribe to this channel because i'm planning to release more videos that are related to ai that are useful and you can use today it's not paper ai anymore it is not preview it is something that you can use right away anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next video take care